Yes, yes, yes! My master plan is working! I can literally see Preston walking into his house right now, and he has no clue that we are hiding only a few meters away. Oh, I should probably explain what's going on to all of you guys. Basically, I have been trying for months now to sneak onto Preston's secret private Minecraft server. Now, if you don't know who Preston is, he is a very famous Minecraft YouTuber, and I've been following him now for quite a few hours to try and uncover any of Preston's deepest, darkest, darkest secrets. Secret. And finally, he has led us straight to his house, his very own personal home. And if there is anywhere he is hiding secrets, it has to be here. But we've hit a little bit of a roadblock. I don't know if you've noticed, but this man literally has his very own personal private security guards out the front of his house and they look beefed to the T. I cannot fight them and they are definitely not going to let me in. So we need to find a way to sneak past. Luckily, I've come prepared. <laughs> hey, check this out, guys. I've got my very own shrinking potion. When I chuck this down on the ground, it should turn me tiny. Except the thing is, is I've kind of never tested this before. I don't know if it's going to work. I could turn into a rat or an elephant or a cow. I hope none of those things happen, guys. But we've got no other choice. I've got to test this out. Fingers crossed in three, two, one. <laughs> Bang! It worked, guys! Check that out! I am tiny, I am mini, I am so small. Look at me, guys. I'm so cute! Oh my goodness! I can literally just wrap myself up and put myself in a bag. Oh my goodness, this is so cute, guys. But that's not why we are here right now. I'm small to do evil. Or well, not evil, just not such good things. I'm sneaking and in, breaking into someone's house. That's, I mean, it doesn't sound so good when you say it like that. It's time to sneak past the security guards. Here we go, guys. I am literally tiny. There's no way these security guards will see me. But I'm also really worried that we might get caught in today's video or something will go very, very wrong. So please, guys, drop a like down below right now. We are going for 10,000 likes as always. One like equals one like for me not to get caught and things to go well. All right, those are the security guards. We've got to be careful. All right, sneak, 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 sneak. All right, and yes, we are past. They're not finding us today. Hopefully there are no more cards around the back of you guys. And as always, guys, for more intense content like this, make sure to slap the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an upload. All right, we're coming around the back here now. Check this out. This is the back of Preston's house and ugh, much to my disappointment, there's no doors. Maybe on the right side of you guys. We can see into Preston's house. Look at that, guys. That's in there. Okay, round here, maybe. Ah, just window, just glass. There's no doors anywhere except for the front one. We're going to find another way in. Luckily, I've got a bunch of these tools on me. The little hammer, the little chisel, the little saw, and some glowstone dust. What can these allow us to do? Well, they can allow us to break blocks that are the size of single pixels. That's right, guys. We've got tiny powers right now, so we should be able to build a tiny secret tunnel into the back of Preston's house. Now, it looks like he's on like a top floor here, so we should be good coming down here on the bottom. All right, let's see where this works, guys. We just drag this along. Boom. Check that out. Actually, I'm worried that might be a little bit too big. Maybe we'll bring that down just a little bit more just to be on the safe side here, guys. All right, let's start digging into this. Oh, yeah, we are breaking in, baby. We're coming for secrets, guys. All the things we could unveil in today's video. It could be some of the craziest secrets ever, guys. Like, we could be exposing him. Ooh, speaking of exposing, we've just exposed our way into the house. But what I was saying, guys, is you're going to want to stick around to the end of today's video so you do not miss out. But back to the task at hand. Check this out. This is a Preston's house. Oh my, oh my goodness, he's right there. Oh my, I need to be so, oh, oh, oh my God. We were, that was way too close, guys. We could have been caught right there and then. I need to be way more careful. Okay, breathe, Jordan, breathe. Oh. Whew. Okay, we should be safe now. Speaking of safe, we should probably cover our checks here, guys. I'm going to cover up the back wall so, you know, no security guard will notice a weird hole in the side of his house. And then we'll cover this as well, just in case he notices. Whew. All right, we are inside Preston's house right now. And he is inside that glass room just over there. We need to explore. Let's have a look around this place. Oh, wow. This is nice. Here's his very own cinema screen. That's pretty cool. Here's a turtle plushie in here. 
Look, I don't know why Preston has a turtle plushie, but if he likes turtles, whatever suits his dab, guys. I'm dab for that. Let's have a look around here. There doesn't seem to be anything too interesting on this bottom floor. There's like a nice little table there. I don't know what's in that glass room, so maybe there's something cooler in there. It's got like a nice little kitchen, some chests, nothing too out of the ordinary. Let's head up the stairs here, guys, and see whether we can find anything else. He's got to have some crazy secrets or at least some crazy stuff in his house, right? All right, what's up here? We've got like some orange beds. That's pretty cool. And a chair and a balcony. Is this it? I mean, this guy is a famous YouTuber. I'd expect him to be living in like a giant mansion with tons of secrets hidden away, a giant recording setup. But this is not at all what I expected. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I love Preston. I love his videos. He's a great friend of mine. So don't grill me in the comments down below. But his house is kind of lame. I mean, you have to admit, I just kind of expected a bit more. Like, where are we supposed to find secrets in here? There's nothing at all. Maybe I'm missing something. Perhaps if we look over the balcony, we can spot something. Mm, I'm not... Oh, Preston is on the move, guys. Where is he going? Okay, he's heading over to his cinema room. He's not coming upstairs. We are safe. Thank goodness. But maybe what we're looking for, maybe all of his secrets, all of his cool stuff is inside that glass room down there, guys. Maybe there's like a staircase to another room that we were missing. Maybe he has a ton of secret diaries. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. We've got to head down the stairs here, guys. There has to be more here. He's a famous YouTuber, for goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he's looking at his chest. We need to... We're, oh, we need to hide. We need to hide. We need to hide. We need to hide. Get up behind the stairs. Oh. Okay, guys, we are so lucky he didn't notice us. Probably because we're really, really tiny. He wasn't looking down at the ground. Otherwise, he would have seen us. And we would have been literally busted right there and then. But okay, he's looking through his chest now. We're just going to wait behind the stairs here. Okay, where's he going? Okay, he's heading upstairs now. Whew, we are safe. Thank goodness. Wait, what's that? Is that a button? Are you got? Is this a button right here, guys? Hiding behind the stairs? Why would there be a button down here? Maybe if we go ahead and click it, do you think it'll do something here? Did that do anything? Wait, guys, look. On the left of my screen. Look, ready? I clicked the button. Wait a few seconds. And look, a hole opens up in the ground. What could this button be for? Is this like a trash compactor? But why would a trash compactor be hidden behind the stairs? In my head, this could only mean one thing. A secret base. In three, two, one. Hit the button, guys. All right, quick run round. Jump down the hole. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What in the world? That is one giant hole! Where am I? Where am I right? <gasps> Yo! This must be Preston's secret base! I knew there had to be more to his house, guys! The man is a famous YouTuber! Have a look at this! This place looks huge! <gasps> look at that, guys! He's got, a, he's got an even bigger cinema screen down here! And he's got his own video playing on the screen right now! Look at this! He's got a brand new video out here. Five new weapons that could be in Minecraft. Oh my good... This is... Look at, look at these speakers! Look at the size of this setup! Now this is how you relax in style right now, guys. He's got his video playing up on the screen. That is awesome! Okay, now we know for certain that this is definitely the legit Preston Plays house. This has to be his house if he's got his own video up on the screen here, guys. We've got to keep looking around. What else could be hiding down here? Maybe some sort of secret. Oh la la, we're about to expose a Preston right here, right now, guys. All right, what's in here? <gasps> the chest room. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? This Preston is a very good Minecraft player. His chests have got to have some pretty awesome loot. Surely, right, guys? Let's have a look in here. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Oh, it's beautiful. My eyes, guys, look at it. It's going to make a grown man cry. Look at all of those diamonds. And more diamonds. What about these chests? <gasps> Netherite blocks. Okay, I knew Preston was good at Minecraft, but this is insane. What in the world? This is off the rocker here. He has so many. He has so many diamonds and so much. Look at all of those elytra. Preston, if you watch this video, serious respect to you, man. That is like some serious loot right there. The guy is an epic Minecrafter, for goodness sakes. All right, what else is in this secret base? Because, I mean, him watching his own videos and, you know, awesome loot, that's not really some, you know, awesome exposing secrets. We've got to find more in here, guys. What is... What is... What? 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 Huh? Are you guys seeing this? What is this? It's like a giant... Is that a giant teddy bear? I think that's what it is. And a massive heart? Uh, Preston, why do you have a giant teddy bear underneath your house? 
Okay, look, guys, I was hoping to find some secrets, but this is not at all what I was expecting. Can we get a... What is this? Viewing platform? Is there a viewing platform for his teddy bear? No way. Why does he have a viewing platform for his teddy bear, guys? All right, we need to jump off here. It is! This is legitimately a teddy bear. Look at that! It's a giant teddy bear. Why does... Why? I don't... I'm so confused, guys. I mean, I love teddy bears, but... This is Preston's secret? He just has an obsession with giant teddy bears? I am so confused right now, guys. Let me know if you know what this is about in the comments down below. Maybe it's for his wife, Brianna? I don't know, but... Or maybe Preston just loves teddy bears. I honestly have no idea. Oh, is that a green screen? I think it is, guys. And a speaker? And it's at the bottom of a wheelie chair. I think that's his recording setup in there. Yo, guys, we're about to see Preston's actual recording setup. And, you know, he's going to spend a lot of time in here. So if there's any secrets in here, it's got to be in this room. He's got, like, a printer over here, a YouTube play button, of course. And what's, what's this? Eight extremely hilarious ways to prank your wife. That's it, guys. Maybe this is why he has a secret Minecraft server with, like, not only does is this a secret personal Minecraft server, and he has security guards, and he has a secret base. Maybe he has all of that stuff just to stop his wife from finding out that he's finding, you know, he's planning on different ways he can prank his wife. Let's have a look here, guys. Maybe we can, do you think we can interact with this screen somehow? Maybe if we jump on the side here, oh, we can move it down. Let's see, what is here? Mix all her clean clothes with your dirty clothes. All hell will break. That is just, that is a mean prank right there, guys. Mixing all of your dirty clothes with your wife's clean clothes. Okay, I can see why Preston wanted to keep this world hidden and then in a secret base. Maybe, look, guys, I didn't know what I was planning on finding today, but so far we've had a giant teddy bear, so Preston must love teddy bears, but also that he's secretly trying to prank his wife. Now, I probably could have guessed that he was going to do this, but here we go. We can see maybe these will be future video ideas that we are uncovering right here, guys. We've got three. Take her hair dryer and load it up with lots of face power. Watch for the priceless expression when she comes out of the shower to blow dry her hair. That is, that is that is cruel, guys. Look at that. Can you imagine Brianna, Preston's wife, getting out her hairdryer full of baby powder only for her to literally blast her face just like the person in this gif right now and have baby powder all over her face? That is, that is a pretty harsh prank right there. Wait, wh what in the world is that? God, are you seeing that? This is clearly Preston's recording setup. You can see he's got his chair, he's got his awesome green screen, a keyboard, a microphone. But what's on his screen there, guys? That's like some FBI stuff going on. Okay. This is it. This is what I was looking for, guys. That has to be... There is definitely something secret that Preston is hiding here, guys. We've got to uncover what this is. All right, we're going to jump on the desk here, guys. Have a look at this. What is he doing on his computer right now? It's like he's hacking into the mainframe or something. This is really, really strange. What could he be doing? <gasps> okay, he's right there. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to find someone to hide. Get off the desk. Get off the desk. Un under the... Under here. Under here. Okay, hide, 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 hide. He's right there. Oh, he's looking back over here. Hide behind the green screen. No, he's coming closer. Don't look out to him. Don't look out to him. What is he doing? He's on his... Okay, he's looking at his computer right now, guys. He's on his chair. Okay, we just, we're, we're stuck down. We are stuck down here for now. We can't escape. It's way too risky. He might spot us as we leave the room. What to do? What to do? What are we going to do here, guys? I don't know. We need to figure out what he's doing on that computer. There is definitely some secret stuff that he is running up there. Like he's hacking into something. We need to figure it out. But... We have to wait for him to leave first, but who knows how long we could be waiting. I mean, he might record a video. We could be stuck here for quite some time. But who says we have to wait under this boring old staircase, all, you know, uncomfortable? We should wait in style, guys. We should build our very own tiny secret base using our little chisel and hammer here, guys, underneath his desk, where, you know, we can relax and chill until he finally leaves. I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. It's time to build a tiny secret base. Now, I'm a little bit hesitant about building a secret base just under his desk. I think I want to go a little bit deeper first. So, you know, there's less chance of us getting caught because getting caught would be very, very bad. So instead, what we're going to do here, guys, is I want to build down a secret staircase that heads down into the ground into our very own secret base. So let's go ahead and get started on this, guys. We're going to go one layer 
down at a time here and we'll have this adorable tiny little one pixel staircase that goes down into the ground for us to have our very own secret base just below the floor of Preston, literally below his recording setup. And hopefully, guys, he will have absolutely no idea that we are hiding just below him. All right, here we go, guys. I reckon this is a pretty good depth. I mean, that's a pretty nice area, guys. That's deep enough, I reckon. And then what we'll go ahead and do is clear out all of this area as well here, guys. Let's see, how big do we want our secret bunker to be? I reckon we can make this pretty big. We have a lot of room to work with here, guys. So we'll just keep expanding it. I don't know. How far do we want to go? I've broken out the floor to that length. Let's see how this kind of goes. I mean, that would be a pretty nice area. We might want to go a little bit bigger. I'm honestly not certain here, guys. We'll clear out all of this space. Yeah, I reckon this is a pretty good room size. This should give us plenty of room to work with and make somewhere that is pretty comfortable. I want to go ahead and fix up this wall because I'm not a huge fan of having a stone wall, guys. We'll match Preston's quartz here, so we'll uh, grab out the quartz and then we'll just drag this all the way down. Oh yeah, now we're talking for style, but I'm still a bit cautious that he might look under his desk, guys, and notice this giant hole here. So maybe we need to make like a working trapdoor or something. So if we go ahead, grab this and cover up this space there. But we need to figure out a way to get this to open and close so we can easily leave and enter if need be. And we need to escape back down here. But how do I do that? Hmm. Give me a sec to figure it out, guys. Okay, check this out, guys. This is awesome. You come up to the roof here. We go ahead and three, two, one. But damn, look at this. Our very own secret hatch underneath Preston's recording setup. Now we can come down here and close it off just like that. There is no way in a million years he's ever going to find us down here. And now that we're down here, we kind of need to find something to do down here. I mean, we can make this place comfortable. Maybe we could put a couch, a bed. Uh, I don't know. It's all kind of boring stuff. We could be here for a very long time. I need to record videos, guys. If we're stuck down here, I can't keep recording other videos for all of you. I know what we can do. We can build our very own mini, tiny, adorable, cute recording setup under Preston's recording setup. That'd be absolutely awesome, guys, having our own recording setup literally just two blocks away from Preston's recording setup. That would be awesome, and I think it'd be pretty cool to have a mini recording setup. So let's do that here, guys. First off, we're going to need a desk. Now, what should we make the desk out of? I'm thinking maybe black concrete powder. I think that would look kind of cool for texturing-wise here, guys. And what we're also going to do is we're going to switch our pixel size to 32. So now we're building in half the size of a normal Minecraft pixel. So let's go ahead and and do this guys i reckon we want one leg here and we'll build another leg for our table just over there i reckon that'd be a pretty good size of table actually we might make it just a little bit smaller here guys we'll bring that in yeah i think that'll look pretty good all right how high do we want our table one two three four i think that'd be a good height for our table so one two three four and then we'll join our table all the way across like so Oh yeah, that looks pretty neat. Now I kind of want to have a little bit of storage space in my desk as well. So what we'll do is we'll place this down here and we'll bring this down. How big do we want our drawer to be? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we just want to dig this space in. So, you know, there's actually space in our drawer to fill things up. And then we, oh, we want our drawer to stand out. We don't want to just be black. So let's use some... Maybe some white concrete here. All right, that's what we'll do. Fill that in with white concrete. Ah, oh, I'm okay. I need a little uh, handle to open up our drawer. So let's grab our polished andesite here, guys. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. But now I want to actually get this to work. I want to be able to pull out that drawer. I wonder if I can figure that out. Hmm. And voila, look at this, guys. I can pull my drawer out. I can push it back in. I can pull it out. I can push it in. How epic is that? But right now, our recording setup literally only has a desk, so it's not really much of a recording setup. We need to build a monitor. So I'm feeling, you know, most monitors have that black vibe. We've used black concrete for our desk, so maybe we'll go with just classic black concrete for our monitor. We'll go ahead and drag this across. How big do we want the base to be? I reckon that's pretty good. I think that's also centered with our desk. All right, my OCD is not going to cry itself to sleep. We are set, guys. And then we'll bring this up. I might actually make this base a little less wide. Yeah, that looks really good. And then we'll shrink that down as well. All right, and how tall do we want it? Mm, I'm feeling about there. 
and then we can expand the screen over like this. Oh yeah, guys, we're getting ourselves one of those giant gaming monitors. Well, actually, let me take back giant. One of those absolutely mini gaming monitors. I mean, compared to the desk, it's going to be a giant monitor. But compared to Preston's monitor that's just above us, well, yeah, this is going to be probably one of the smallest monitors that this world has ever seen here, guys. All right, we'll make it just a little bit bigger there. Yeah, I like it how this is looking. Very, very nice. We might actually hollow out this centre bit and turn it into a little bit of a screen here. We might also bring this down just one more. All right, and we'll smash that out. We'll bring the frame all the way down here and across like that. Break out this bit and we'll fill in the centre bit here. I'm feeling a black glass kind of vibe. So we'll grab our black stained glass and drag that across. Now we're talking, that looks just like a monitor, guys. All right, and you can't have a computer without a mouse, of course, to control it. So we'll do a little bit of a mouse over here. And then we'll have a tiny little keyboard at the front. Okay, I did not, I did not make this light up, my OCD. Ah! All right, and yeah, there we go. We've got ourselves, it's still not, it's still not centered, guys. I'm going to cry. Is, it, is that centered? Yes, okay. We've got ourselves our own little keyboard, our mouse. Very, very nice. But, well, the monitor needs a PC to run. So let's go ahead and make one of those. I reckon, guys, to match the EY stream colors, of course, we have to build our PC case out of blue concrete. Let's go ahead and hollow this out. And how big do we want our PC? You know what, guys? I want an absolutely ginormous PC. This is going to be an absolute beast of a PC. Yeah, now we're talking. That thing is huge, guys. All right, we'll break out the sides here, guys, so we can actually see on the inside of our PC because, you know, all the awesome gamer PCs, you can always see, like, what's on the inside of them here, guys. So we'll bring this out and then we'll drag that out. All right, looking very, very cool. We'll even try and make ourselves, like, our own little graphics card on the side here, guys. All right, let's put in, let's put in our graphics card. Obviously, this is a very, uh, this is a very not detailed graphics card, but it's close enough. We'll build in the motherboard as well so let's go ahead and break out that our motherboard will be made out of andesite and of course to make sure this thing is nice and cool we're going to put in some fans let's grab ourselves those iron blocks and we'll put a fan just over here i reckon all right one oh we got to be careful about how we do this and just in there looking very nice we've got ourselves a fan up there the motherboard and the graphics card looking very nice and of course we will cover this all up with glass so you know i don't accidentally spill my water in there because that is definitely something i would do and make the entire thing explode so let's go ahead and fill that up very nice oh we got to get be careful here guys with the glass and down we go boom check that out guys We've got ourselves our gaming setup complete with our computer and PC looking very, very slick and nice. But of course, this isn't just a gaming setup. This is a recording setup. So we're going to need, of course, a chair for me to sit in and a green screen. So let's start off with the chair here, guys. We're going to use our black concrete and we'll uh, line this up with our monitor. We'll bring this, I reckon, like that. Yeah, that should be pretty good. And then we'll bring this out either side. This will be the base of our gaming chair. And then we'll bring this up one, two blocks. And this will be exactly where a nice little batuti butt can sit all nice and comfy. And then we're going to need, of course, a backrest because we're not just, you know, we're not just making some lame old chair. No, no, no. We're making a gamer chair, guys, like the one right behind me now. We're making one of those lovely things because, you know, as said, we could be down here for a while. I mean, Preston is still up there and who knows how much longer is going to be up there. So I want to at least be able to sit in style, of course, guys. So let's bring this up there and we'll add in some arm rest as well. So, you know, my arms don't get too tired uh, sitting here recording uh, in our mini recording setup. All right. One, two, three. Oh, I stuffed that up. One, two, three and four. And then, you know what? Match the EY stream colors here, guys. We're going to get ourselves a blue gaming chair. All right, we'll fill that in. And the inside, we'll use our blue concrete once again. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. That looks pretty awesome if you ask me. At least, I think so. Anyways, and you know, I kind of wish I had my own blue gaming chair. This thing looks pretty awesome. And it also looks absolutely adorable. All right, do we fit on it, guys? Okay, kind, kind of. We kind of we kind of fit on the gaming chair. I may have made it just a little bit too small for us, guys. But we can, we can make it work. We can sit on our gaming chair, work away at our PC, make our videos. But, as said, we're going to need a green screen behind us. Now, to do that, let's uh, first off build two poles here on either side out of our iron block. So we'll build one, two, and we'll just have this going all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. How tall do you reckon we need to make these poles, guys? Six, seven... Eight, nine, 
10. And we'll drag this all the way across down to the other side, like so. All right, we'll line that up. Bang! We'll hollow out this center bit. And now what we need to do is chuck in our green screen. Let's grab our lime concrete and chuck that all the way across there. Oh, yeah! Have a look at that, guys. We'll chuck some glowstone on it so it glows all sides. All right, looking very, very nice. And now we are done. This is our recording, our mini recording setup, complete and done skis. I think this looks pretty slick, if you do ask me. Looking very, very nice. Wait a minute. Guys, I don't have a green screen. I have a blue screen. Oh my, this isn't supposed to be someone else's recording setup. This is supposed to be my recording setup, guys. Let's switch out that green screen here for our blue concrete and we'll finish that up all nice, just like so. Now we are talking, now it's done. And now it truly is an EY stream setup. We can be here for days and considering Preston is still up, up there, he's not. Guys, I don't see Preston's name tag there anymore. Guys, he's gone. I think he's gone. Wait, wait, we'll check. We have to check, guys. All right, up we come. Let's go ahead and open up our hatch here. Okay, we'll sneak out very carefully. All right, crouch, crouch. He's gone, guys. Preston is gone. And just in time, we just finished building our recording setup. Actually, it's kind of sad. I have to see my tiny recording setup go. It's been nice knowing you little recording setup. I loved you very much. We never got to do a video, but maybe one day we will return to Preston's house, guys, to film a video in this mini recording setup. But more, now to the more pressing issue Preston has left. This is our chance to find out what secrets he has on his computer. All right, let's jump around here. Okay, I don't see his name tag anywhere here, guys. I think we are safe. I think he's left his secret base for good. All right, we're finally going to find out what is this? What is he doing on his PC here, guys? All right, let's come up. Can I just click the screen here? Wait. Matrix Screen Saver Rain Cove longest 4K video on YouTube. Wait, are you kidding? What? It's a screen saver video? And here I was thinking he was like hacking into doing and something super secret. Guys, it's a, he's literally watching. He's got a screen saver to make it look like he is hacking. He's actually doing nothing secret or scary down here at all. I'm so done. It's a 12, it, well, it's an 11 hour, 59 minute and 59 second video. It's literally 20, why is Preston watching a 12 hour video of code? What, why, what? Preston, you have a lot of explaining to do. Is this, this, this is it, this is, are you telling me we snuck in here and this is what? Preston, why, can you please explain? I, I just don't understand, I, why do you have a video of code? Please help me.